Hello everybody and welcome to confidence intervals and we're going to be finding the sample size needed to achieve a certain level of confidence and a um, certain margin of error as well. Okay, so um, a common problem on the AP exam, there's kind of two situations, we'll do both here. First of all, this is our confidence interval. Okay, it's our estimate plus our margin of error and our margin of error consists of our z-score and then our standard error for a confidence interval. Okay, so in our problem here, it says that a recent poll indicated 80% of voters believe, 82% of voters believed in global, global warming. What sample size would be needed to find a confidence interval with a 95% level of confidence with no more than a 3% margin of error? Okay, well, your margin of error is right there and we want to achieve a 3%. So 0.03 is a margin of error, it equals the margin of error. Right? And then they've told me that my, my suggested um, proportion is 82%. Okay, so with that in mind, 1.96 is the z-score for a 95% confidence interval. That could be found on inverse norm if you forget that. And then I have my 0.82 times 0.18. It equals 0.03 and n is the value that I'm looking for. And I'm going to go ahead and do the math for this. So. I will show you that right now, walk through that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is divide by 1.96. Calculator. 0.03, and actually, I don't really need to figure that out right now. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, get rid of the square root, is to square that and to square that. I'll do all my calculations at one time. I seem to have a better chance of being successful with that method. 0.03 divided by 1.96 squared equals, my square is undone the square root, I have 0.82 times 0.18 divided by n. All right, excuse me, going back and forth here. My next step, I'm going to multiply by n on both sides. I'll divide by this. So n, my sample size needed, equals 0.82 times 0.18 divided by 0 0.03 divided by 1.96 squared. All right, it's kind of a big mess there, but I have better success doing it this way all at one time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I have 0.82 times 0.18 divided by parentheses 0.03 divided by 1.96, close my parentheses, raise that to the second power, and hit enter, and I have 630.0224. So my minimum sample size that I need would be 630, but I need a little bit more. So this is one of those cases in order to achieve that, the sample size needed, I'll round up to be 631. All right? Okay, second scenario. All right, P hat's not given to you. Very common on the AP exam. What sample size is needed to estimate the true percentage of women with green eyes at a confidence level of 90% with no more than 4% margin of error. Well, you can see I've set this up. 4% equals my margin of error. Okay, it's the same as the last problem. And then I have my z-score for 4%. Notice that's from my inverse norm. It's a 90% level of confidence, meaning I have, it's 90% there, I have 10% left over five to be on either side, so 5% the area I plug in inverse norm. My mean is zero, always in my standard deviation one for a z-score. I got my 1.65 there, 645, excuse me. Okay, and then the last thing that I do is I don't have P or Q, so the conservative estimate, if they don't give it, is we use 0.5, all right? So if they don't tell you that, then you must plug in 0.5 there, and that's what we're gonna use to evaluate this, all right? Same steps, I'm going to divide by this, 0 0.04 divided by 1.645. Square the 
whole thing. That undoes my square root. Okay. Um, 0 0.04 or 1.645 squared equals 0.5 times 0.5, which is actually 0.25 over n. Okay, I've squared that. Okay, and now I'm going to multiply by n. Divide by this. Okay, so n ends up equaling 0.5 times 0.5 divided by 0.04 divided by 1.645 squared. And as we said earlier, I'll round up on this. Okay, so let's get that. I know that's 0.25 on top, 0.5 times 0.5, divided by, again, parentheses, 0.04 divided by 1.645, close my parentheses, square that, enter. I got 422.8. Okay, and what that means to me is in order to achieve that sample size, I will need to have a sample size of at least 423 without knowing the value for P. All right, thank you very much.